We are back today for another new episode of Pack Attack. And man, we've been going real good lately. I've put together four wins in a row, three of which have been on Hall of Fame difficulty. And that's carried us all the way up to a 791 rating, one win away from breaking past championship series. The last episode is up to 16 likes right now, so that is good for an automatic 1600 stubs going towards our packs after the game today so keep it up guys make sure you keep hitting that like button because each like adds 100 stubs towards the next episode and once again the additions to the stub bank cannot be stopped by the time i sold them the guy we got out of the world baseball classic around the world pack that isn't in the shop anymore so it inflates the value i sold them for 55k so in total with everything else we're adding another 80,752 stubs to the bank, bringing us up now to 224,897. I'm pretty sure that's the first time we've ever broken 200,000 stubs in the bank. That doesn't change anything though. We're still going to be spinning this program wheel one at a time, only one spin per episode, partly because we're really at the point right now where especially on the hitting side of the ball, there's nobody that I want to get rid of off this team yet. I am continuing on in my event grind to try and unlock the rest of these 12 win rewind packs. That's all we have left. And I unlocked the set two pack, which is terrible. Actually, I kind of hope we don't ever land on this one. But that brings us back up to 27 options on the wheel with I think only four more to unlock at this point. So we're getting close to having everything available that I can have available. So let's get Get this wheel spinning then 40,000 stubs spent to spin it and what do we got here the set three collection choice the streak continues man i swear every single pack that i stop and look at and go huh i really don't know who to take if we land on that one that's the one i end up landing on pretty much right away so this will be what our second collection reward choice pack that we're going to be able to open and add the player We've got Adley, widely considered by many to be the best catcher in the game this year. But like, Sean Murphy has been so good for me. And then you got Acuna, another really good card. 125s on the contact and clutch, really nice power he can field. But also with him, we already had the live series Acuna for a long time. And at no point throughout this year on All-Star Difficulty Hall of Fame, no point was I good with him. So that leaves Martin Dehigo, and he does everything. If I add him, he'll probably primarily be a pitcher and as a pitcher he actually does have really nice numbers I mean the 101 hits per nine is maybe slightly lower than you'd like but he's got outlier on his fastball he's got a sinker curveball slurve and screwball I mean I love a screwball this year I don't know though this Acuna is good. I'm going to need a second to decide here. You know what? The more I sit here thinking about it, I don't know if I can pass up on Acuna. As much of the reasons I said not to take him still make sense to me. The more I look at this card, I mean, for one, it's just it's just an amazing card. I also know there's definitely a few of you guys who would probably be pretty upset with me if I didn't take Acuna. But also, as I look at Dehigo, he's a cool card. Awesome all-around player. I mean, maybe the best all-around player. But if you think about it, we really don't need an all-around player. Because as good as Dehigo is all-around, everywhere he could be around, we have somebody better and as a pitcher it's not like he would all of a sudden be my best pitcher or even number two or three so if i add him and he gets shelled in his first game I'm not going to want to keep him around, and if I get rid of him right away, then I've just wasted this pack when I could have had somebody like Acuna that I would at least probably try for a couple games. So yeah, I think, uh, I think I've made up my mind then. Set three collection choice pack. As much as I try and say I don't want to add any more position players, we still just keep getting position players to add. One day, the day will come where we start landing on pitchers, but that day is not yet today. Acuna's on pack attack again, and I don't Oh man, as I look at the team and the bench, 
the only person I feel like it makes sense to take out to add Acuna is Dr. Smooth, even though he's been so good. I mean, but at this point with how good everybody on our team is, we can't really just look at what somebody's done. We kind of have to look at potential weaknesses and this Brantley kind of has the most of those. I mean, the low power against lefties, the not great speed as an outfielder. I don't know, man. I hate to do it because he has been good, but I think I'm just taking Brantley out just straight up. Not even going to send him to the bench because as far as our bench goes, I feel like these are better bench options like O'Neill Cruz if I want a lefty probably better than bringing in Brantley. Obviously, the rule is still intact where if I do want to bring Brantley back after one game of Acuna, I could. But yeah, I mean, just look at how much better Acuna is overall than Brantley. Brantley's got him on power against righties and vision, and that's it. So we've got him. Acuna out and right. I think I'm going to leave him there and we'll leave Yelich and left. I feel like that makes more sense. So another change to the team ready to go. We're 96 and 34 today. Obviously, again, playing for a championship series like I said at the start it's another big game and hopefully I can show up at the plate like I have been all right let's see who he's got I don't know who scares me at this point if I'm hitting John Donaldson oh yeah that no that'll do it that'll that'll be the one that scares me I don't know I, I feel like I haven't been as bad as you can be against Randy Johnson but this is also parallel five Randy Johnson this is this chase pack Randy Johnson that I don't know how different he is than that other one from earlier in the year and it's still Hall of Fame difficulty as we're rising up through the ranks so we'll see Acuna is getting it let off for me. I've got him in that leadoff role with that double 125 contact. And we are right back to what live series Acuna was doing for me all the time. Hitting the ball relatively hard, but it just going right to somebody. And then I'm... Mm, and then I couldn't pull the trigger. I actually might have timed that up. That's a shame. Really hope this guy doesn't hit well, just like the last guy we played, because I might need a little bit of leeway at the plate. That's a good sign behind that sinker. And then we get the rollover on the cutter. All right. Mike Mussina had a really good game his last time out, so maybe he's just tough for people to hit and nobody realizes it. We got him popping up. All right. Back-to-back -back weak contact outs. Oh, Yelich, no. I'm diving. I don't care. He got there. Whoa, that was risky. That's got to go. I know I'm late, but it's this stadium. It is gone. Vlad does it. 89 off the bat. I was plenty behind the fastball, but Vlad's just too good. That's why I wanted this card around. Wow, I've gotten bailed out on back-to-back -back pitches here. What can you do with it, Seeger? Make it pay off. Oh, wow. All right. That was... That was a move by him that paid off. Get... That's not getting through. Yeah. Oh, we're bailed again. Babe Ruth on the very early swing hitting the base. Keep it alive for the inning. Let Trey Turner do something. And Trey Turner will do something. That's a couple runs I shouldn't have. You could make the case I should have none of these runs this inning. This is going to take a good play from Ellie. Strong throw. He's got it. Of course he's got it. And then jammed him. That's two pitches for two outs this inning. Can we get a three-pitch inning? We get one. It's not a three-pitch inning, but it's a four. He took one pitch and then jammed himself, popped up, and that's a four-pitch inning in response to me putting up three. Oh, they made me go around? Why? Why are you screwing over Acuna in his debut? Wow. Still going to strike out plenty today, aren't I? That's just what Randy Johnson gets out of you. Even if you can hit him, you're still going to contribute your fair share of punch outs. And that's always fun to get a nice line out like that when I make a good swing. Look, I shouldn't feel as comfortable as I'm kind of starting to feel because we have so much time left, and this is a very hitter-friendly park. All he's got to do is get some lift on a couple of these pitches, and... Well, I guess... I Never mind. <laughs> he got lift on that one. Center field's a little deep, so we're good. I mean, I'm starting every righty with this cutter away, and he's rolled over on it three out of four times. 
Okay, that was not where it was supposed to go. That was my first slider of the game. Trying to get it way inside, and I think that stayed in the zone. Actually, that didn't even stay in the zone. That was still out of the zone. I guess the slider is just the one pitch he's ready for from Musina. So you won't get that anymore. We'll go right back to the cutter, get the grounder from the righty. Still have a two-run lead. Oh, they made me go around again. When I see it enough to stop the swing before going all out, maybe help me out a bit. That's a tough pitch. I don't think that's going to drop in. Not with Ellie playing short. Man, can't get anything going now. I, I got the perfect with Turner, and then I've done nothing since. Man, I swear, he's got me to the point where I'll take a pitch in the zone and then chase one out of the zone. That's when you know you're struggling. Dude, we are getting so many quick outs. I am one out into the fourth, and I have 19 pitches thrown. And there we go. There's another one. Two pitches to get Bellinger grounding out. Ooh, he made contact on that. You'd think he would slow the bat down after a couple of cutters away, but no. No, he didn't. I just want one good swing. I feel like that'll get my momentum back. If I can just run into one decent swing... God, I was guessing fastball up and away. So then he goes slider up and away. Of course, I'm going to be on top of it. Dude, those three runs that I scored are going to have to be enough. Just plain and simple. That's all I might get today. Oh, he still swung at that. This dude might not strike out today. All right, figured I'd switch it up instead of going first pitch cutter, and it worked pretty well. Grounder, Ellie. Come on, make the play. He's not going to get it there. Ooh, yep, that's the problem. That is the bad thing. Oh, yeah, he just he just kind of ran into that. Hasn't even been close to doing anything with that pitch and then just decides to wait back enough, and now we're tied. I guess now I just know how he feels after giving up a two-run shot after that, that very early swing of mine hit the base. I guess we're even now. Dude, he's only thrown eight balls with Randy Johnson. What happened to my good eye? I usually have a pretty good eye. There we go. Let's get more of that going. I've been way too swing happy. God, I did. I fouled it off. This dude is an absolute artist with his paint on the corners. I haven't given him enough credit. Everything he's throwing is right on the corners. That's why it's probably so tough for me to take pitches. Look at that. Oh, I got him. A little late. On the two seam, but Ellie comes through. Just late be great. We got the lead back. Oh, he's just done with Randy. I don't even remember him going to warm up the bullpen. Okay, interesting. I uh, actually don't know if I've ever faced this Zach Britton card this year. It seems like not too many people went out of their way to get him. Oh, Yelich, please leave. That is such a good swing. Wow, I'm back. I, I surprised myself with that swing. Oh, my God. Seeger, oh, man. Oh, it is it is over his head. I got to keep him at first, though. I thought that was a lineup, but that just, <laughs> that just kept going. Oh, and I didn't, didn't have to swing at that. I was way behind it. I was never going to be on that. I should have just let it go for strike one. Good inning, though. Got our two-run lead right back. And you know what? Musina's got a ton of energy left. I'm not even super worried about wanting to take him out, even though he has put up three. I just got to mix up my pitches a little more, not be as obvious, you know, not just go right to that cutter. There we go. He would have been early if I threw the cutter outside. He was kind of all over that. There we go. We got him. I was wondering if that pitch was going to work, and it worked perfectly. Okay, and we kept it low enough to not let him get under it enough. That's a line out, and that's a scoreless sixth. Ooh, he's going to a righty to face Babe Ruth. We have two lefties due up this inning. He's going to the righty. Wow, that, yep. I was kind of ready for that. I was like, when's he going to break out that fork ball? And then he threw it up in the zone. That threw me off. Oh my God, he left it in the zone. I cannot pick up the timing here on Lee Smith. Everything's a different speed. I was late. All right, Lee Smith, you're better than I realized. Wow, all right. So th this dude, of all the pitches to pick to sit on, it's the slider. Two of his four hits now have come against the slider, and I think I've only thrown it three times. 
Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Oh, no. Oh, that is just disgusting. Okay, Yelich should be getting there. We're going to give up one run, though. He'll, he'll bring it back to just one back. He's taken off. Don't do it again to me. Come on, Acuna. Throw him out. I didn't get a perfect throw, and he didn't He didn't even try. Acuna, dude, you got 99 arm. You could have done that. Well, I think that's where we got to call it with Musina. Ruined his quality start by giving up an extra run there, and we're, just, we're allowing the hit parade now. There we go. One pitch. Get the pop-up. Keep the lead. We just need to figure it out again on offense. I don't want a one-run lead the, the rest of the way out. That is going to get down the line. I will take it. Wow. I, I thought for sure he was going to go forkball at some point, but he was keeping everything hard with the threat of the steal. Oh, I didn't get the PCI up high enough. I actually thought I'd put a decent swing on that. All right. I don't know, man. I'm taking off. I'm taking off first pitch. Hopefully he's not ready for it. We got a good jump. We got one of those things, though. And, uh... That's always fun. Why do I keep stealing bases? That happens probably half the time. Broken bat. This is not an easy play, though. Okay, we made it look easy. Ooh, okay, that's still giving me an out, but man, I thought that... If there was any pitch that was going to get him down looking, that would have been it. I actually don't know. Do I have any strikeouts in this game? I don't know if I've sat him down a single time. Come on, no. Why is he ready for that? Okay, just get it there. We got him one pitch. I got a score in this top of the ninth. Otherwise, it'll be a one-run lead. Man, he is he's gonna go with Lee Smith for a third inning, and I don't blame him. I cannot hit him. Yeah, look at that. Look at what I'm doing against Lee Smith. Got too far under it. I actually guessed right and timed it up. I could have I could have extended Seeger's homer streak and I could have given us a two-run lead. Man, I guessed right again. I was like, all right, selling out cutter, first pitch, throws it out of the zone. Devin Williams is who I'm trusting for the save this time out. I don't know. I just feel like with how this guy's been hitting, Williams is gonna give him more trouble than like an Evan Phillips would have. Or the exact opposite, and he's actually going to be able to lay off pitches that Devin Williams throws. Devin! All right, I mean, he timed that up. He did not have an issue waiting back on that. But we'll get an out out of it. Oh, my God, he can't even swing and miss on that? This dude's either contact swinging or secretly playing on All-Star. But he cannot swing and miss. There we go, finally. No, he just swung and missed on two of those. He doesn't need to all of a sudden now make contact. I'm being pranked. I am being pranked. He did not just go up and get a fastball up above the zone away after four straight screwballs below the zone. This game's over. I'm not still playing. This is an optical illusion. I'm being pranked. He's going to win it right here, too. We had him down to two strikes on an 0-2 count, and he's going to win it here. I know he's probably just going to go to his bench, but got to go to a new arm here. Yep. Yep, that's the game. Yeah, that's... That, uh, that, oh. I'm not dwelling on it. I, I'm not going to say anything else about that because the more I think about it, the angrier, angrier I will get. I should have won that game. I'm not saying the game screwed me over. I'm not saying he got lucky or anything. It's just that's on me, and it's a game I should have won. 0-2 count, two outs. He was still plenty lower than me, so we're getting a minus 35. Oh, I, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to let myself, no, I'm not going to let myself get angry. We move on. It, it does not matter. A hiccup is okay at this point because we have so much time left. I don't have to dwell on it. I don't have to think of where we could have been. We just 
take this one in stride and move on. That's all we can do. Is this really how it would work or is the game wrong here? I feel like it should have been John Franco that got the loss, even though like I know it was Devin Williams run or runner on base. So the earned run is charged to him, but I feel like the loss should go to whoever's on the mound, right? That I feel like the game got that wrong. Not like it matters though. Anyway, let's get to adding this up. Hitting is going to make me 7,200 stubs. Pitching actually went negative for negative 100. And then all we get from the bonus category is 2,356. The winning streak is gone. And we have seven parallel ones, nine twos, one three, two fours, and one five for a multiplier today of times 1.3. 395 and a final stub count of 13,191. So we're only gonna get to spin the pack wheel one time today, and then we have these three show packs on top of it. So who knows, man, maybe we get lucky. Maybe at some point here we get lucky and uh, I get cheered up after how that game ended. All right, so here we go. Wheel up on the screen, one spin, 10,000 stubs, and we... <laughs> Oh, uh, the hits just keep coming. Let's get this over with. Silver topper. Get that out of the way. Santander, thank you. And uh, that's where we call this one. Like I said, all we can do is just take this one in stride and come back tomorrow and turn things around. I mean, we have so much time before this season ends that the loss this at this point does not really hurt. So we just carry on. So as always, guys, make sure that you hit that like button for me so that you can add 100 stubs towards next episode. Make sure if you enjoyed this one and you're not subscribed to the channel, you hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching today, guys. Thanks for stopping by for this one. And I will see you next time.